I recently got a message from SciDev asking what I thought were the best brushes for Rough Animator. Well, the best brush will be up to you. Let's talk today about what brushes Rough Animator comes with and how you can import your own brush on today's episode of the Expat Animator. So let's take a look at the brushes in Rough Animator. If we click our brush tool, and right here in our tool options, we've got the brush that is the default brush in Rough Animator. And you'll see that if you're just using this brush with your mouse, you don't get any kind of variation in the line width. But if you use a, a tablet like I've got here, you can get that nice thick to thin line with this brush. And I actually like this brush for drawing both traveling gringos and trep. It works very good for me. But uh, if you want to try a different brush, there if you click on this, you'll see that it comes with three brushes in Rough Animator. And the second brush here has kind of got a, um, a blurred edge to it. And if we use the old, um, it's basically the same line just with a uh, blur on added to it. And then the third option is this kind of uh, chaotic brush. And you can see if I just stamp it here, that's what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and uh, try and draw with this. And you can get the thick to thins with this, which is nice. So it's just going to give you that more of an organic look. Uh, and depending if you're trying to draw, you know, maybe clouds or, or foliage or something, a brush like this might come in handy for you. So... But what if you need a specific look and you want to bring in your own brushes? Well, Rough Animator lets you do that. And if we click over here, we've got an add brush shape. So I'm going to go ahead and click this. And it's going to come up with a dialog here. And right here it says the image must be PNG format with a transparent background. So that's important. So we need to go create our own brush. So I'm going to cancel out of this and let's go ahead and do that now. So let's switch over to Affinity Photo which is an app like Photoshop that I like to use a lot. And let's just create a new document. So what I've been using for brushes here is 500 by 500 pixels at 72 DPI. And we want to make sure we have transparent background checked. And if you don't have that checked and you create your document, you get this white background. And within Affinity Photo, if you go up to document, you can come down and hit transparent background and that'll knock that out. Let me go to my brushes palettes here and just select kind of a basic brush. And what you could do is you can kind of just make your own brush like that, something like that to try and let's try and fill up the page here a little bit. And that would be my brush. So I could at this point save it out as a PNG and import that to Rough Animator. But let's go one step further. Let's just delete that and let's grab a brush from a preset here because we've got you know uh, a bunch of brushes that come with affinity photo by default so let's say i wanted to grab uh like a splatter let's just go ahead and find something interesting here and if we make our brush size large enough so right now i've got a width of 200 pixels i can go ahead and click one time and gives us spattered look. Now I maybe I want to make that a little bit bigger, so let's go ahead and maybe go up to 300 on the width of our brush, and let's just take our mouse and drop it again. So let's say we want to use this as our brush. So this has got you know transparency in it. We just come up to export it under File, and we want to select PNG, and let's export it. And then I'll just call it new brush here. Just save it to the desktop. And then let's go back over to Rough Animator. So let me just delete what we've got done here. We want to select our brush and then we want to go to the tool options and we want to add that brush. And here's that file that we just created. So let's open that. And you can see now, if I click here, now we've got a fourth option and it's got a little trash can here so you can delete brushes that you bring in but you can't delete the original three so let's just go ahead and use this and it's a little small right now but if I just use my mouse that's what I get if I use my pen with the pressure sensitivity I can get a little bit of a 
thick to thin change. And let's go ahead and like double this up to 200 because we can change our brush sizes and opacity and, and other things here. And now I can really get a good thick to thin. And just to show you uh, real quick here, let's go ahead and just go to 400. Up oh, 300 is as big as it'll go on the brush size. Okay. So, and let's see how. So I can really get a good thick to thin here. And this is, you know, giving us gray, shades of gray in here. So this is pretty a pretty interesting brush, and we've created it pretty quickly. And that's how you import it into Rough Animator. So hopefully you can use that tip and create your own brushes in Rough Animator. My name's been Patrick Davidson, the expat animator. Thanks for joining me, and I hope to see you next time.